Alright, hey guys, how's it going? Anthony here, and I thought today, since I haven't done an update on my collection in a long time, that I would do one. And the last time I did this was, I think, uh, last year. And, um, it turned out pretty good, but, um, I just thought I would do another one. So, we're gonna start off here. Uh, so the first yo-yo, this was my first ever yo-yo. This was a Duncan Reflex, and... I love this thing. It was my first yo-yo that I, like, ever got. Really cool. So, I have a lot of memories with this one. Uh, so yeah. Next up, we have the Nine Dragons. And, uh, the Nine Dragons, unfortunately, it's, like, broken, so the sides don't really work anymore. Which kind of sucks, to be honest. But, um, when it, when it did work, it was cool. One day, I'll eventually fix it, but, um... Yeah, so next I have this. This is a Duncan Pro Z, another yo-yo I got when I was like a beginner and I had no idea what I was doing. Uh, I actually really like. I I like I kind of like this yo-yo when I had it. Now it's like it doesn't even really screw together. I think I'm doing something wrong. But yeah, so I have a lot of memories with that one. Next we have a Magic Yo-Yo K1. Uh, this was like, I got this as a Christmas present. Uh, this year was like $5. Uh, it has hub stacks, but the other hub stack, unfortunately, it hit my fan. It hit like the top of my fan. Cause I think I was doing like around the world or something, I don't know. And one of the hub stacks just flew off and I think it's under my dresser now. Uh, I'll get it eventually. Next up we have a Yo Mega Maverick. Uh, this is mainly just a souvenir for me. I got this when I was on vacation in, uh, Virginia Beach. And I got this at a hobby town, like, one of those hobby stores. It was pretty cool when I got it. Uh, I don't really use it a whole lot anymore. It's got quite a, quite a few dings, as you can see. But, I mean, it's fine, I guess. So, next we have the Snow Lizard. I just recently did a review on this. I love this thing. I really love this thing. Uh, I really love COYW. I'm hoping to get more of their yo-yos soon. Just the Snow Lizard is such a good yo-yo. It's it's such a good yo-yo. Extremely smooth. Extremely just fun to play with. I would definitely recommend this to anybody. This Andrew Mater's yo-yo, super cool. So uh, next up we have a Freehand Zero, and uh, I actually got this for my birthday as well. Uh, it was just kind of like a secondary gift that my grandma got me. And, uh, I had the counterweight somewhere. I think I lost it, though. I don't know where I lost it at, but, um, yeah, that kind of sucks. But, uh, next we have the Yo-Yo Factory Edge. And, uh, most people probably know the Edge. Most people probably know what this Yo-Yo is all about. Evan and Gal's Yo-Yo, he won nationals, uh, last year and this year with this Yo-Yo. And just, I mean, a lot of people have this yo-yo. It's really fun, super cool. Uh, it's a bimetal, which really helps. I love it. Most people love it. Uh, really cool, so yeah. So this yo-yo, a lot of people might think like, oh, why are you showing this? This is my only actual light-up yo-yo, and uh, I actually got this because um, at school we had like a trade day where we like traded stuff. We like brought stuff in the trade, and um... <coughs> This kid just brought this for me as like a joke, and it actually lights up, and it's a Niagara Falls yo-yo, which is quite funny actually. So yeah, I guess it's pretty cool that I have that. Um, up here on top of my Rubik's Cube, I have my C3 level 6, and uh, I really like this thing. Uh, I use this um, in my school talent show uh, in 6th grade, and um... I also use this at Ohio State's last year. Uh, I, I do like it. It is dinged, unfortunately. I, I remember going to Ohio State's and the, for, the first thing I did was ding this thing. Uh, it's right, uh, where is it? I think I lost it. It's right there. You can't see it, like, it's not terribly noticeable. It kind of hurts, though. I might be able to sand it out in the future. I don't know. But for now, it's okay. I, I do like it. So this is the synth... The, the this is a synthesis by Thesis Yo-Yos, which is a lot of S's. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And uh, I like this Yo-Yo. The only thing I don't like about this Yo-Yo is if you like lose control of this thing and it hits your hand, 
this thing kills because the profile, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but this thing is super sharp, and I have like, I've, I've hit this thing on my hand and it really hurts. That's the only real downside to this yo-yo, but I still like it, it's still really cool. Next up we have the Jackknife, uh, Jackknife by Base Camp. Most of you guys know this yo-yo, uh, just overall super cool, super fun yo-yo. Um, I got this for Christmas, uh, two years ago I think it was, and uh, yeah, I just really liked it. Uh, super fun and cool and just overall fun, like it, base camp as well. Um, next up we also have the Duncan Windrunner. Uh, the Windrunner actually um, is my... Well, it's not my only Duncan yo-yo, but it's probably my favorite Duncan. Uh, and I like I like the Windrunner, but it's not really my favorite because it's just there's something about it. I feel like this yo-yo snags just way too much. I have a yo-yo expert edition. I, I actually really like this colorway though. Um, this colorway is really cool, but yeah, it's not really my favorite. I do like it though. Um, next up we have the Yo-Yo Factory Shutter. Uh. I have a lot of memories of this yo-yo. Uh, I remember uh, me and my friend Ryan used to do those like super cringeworthy videos with this, and I was using this yo-yo. Unfortunately, though, one day, my myself being the idiot that I am, decided to combine a shutter and a horizon with like one half and the other half, and I ended up stripping the axle. So. Yeah, doesn't really uh doesn't really work. But luckily, though, when I was at Ohio State last year, I picked up another one, and this one works. Uh, it has a little bit of vibe for some reason, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, I got the Galaxy colorway. I think it's really cool. Um, so yeah. So next up, we have the Loop. Uh, we have the Loop 360 next, and uh, I like the Loop 360. Uh, I'm not very good at looping. <laughs> Uh, I, I actually do use this thing a lot, uh, surprisingly. Uh, it's just like a fun yo-yo just to have and just to play around with, to just fidget with, like when you're bored. And fun, I, I just really like this thing. It's, it's good for what I can do. Um, so next up we have the Horizon. Uh, I just threw this random string. Uh, I, I, I think I put this uh, string that came with the wedge, which we'll get to. Uh, in a little bit. Uh, I just threw it on this yo-yo. Yeah, the Horizon, I've had this yo-yo for probably about two years now, and I still love it. It's still such an amazing yo-yo. I mean, like, pretty much everybody has a Horizon, um, and yeah, it's just such, such a fun yo-yo. Super cool. So, next up, we have the Velocity, and I don't know if you can see this, but... You see that little scratch above my eye? It might be a little hard to see. I, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Yeah, but you can thank the Velocity for that. Because, um, it was like two years ago I got a knot with it. I got a knot in this yo-yo. And, uh, I just like set it down. Just like, eh. Well, then I picked it up later, forgetting that the bearing was completely clogged with string. And it whacked me right in the face, and it was bleeding, and it was not very good at all. So, yeah. But, I mean, I, I got the velocity when I was, like, starting off yo-yoing. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, I guess it works. It's fine. So, next up, we have the Vanguard by One Drop. Uh, I'm gonna be completely honest. It's kind of undersized for me. I don't love it. I mean, it's okay. I just don't love it as much as I used to. Uh, and for some reason, it, it has a responsive bearing. I'll have to switch that out. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's good. I like it. It's okay. Um, yeah, it's okay. So, uh, yeah, Vanguard, I really like that colorway. I think I did a review, but just don't watch it, because that video is from 2016, and I'm actually thinking about deleting all my videos from 2016, because they're so bad. Next up, we have The Wedge. I reviewed this. I, I unboxed this, like, I think, what, like, a week ago? Um, but, uh, yeah, super cool, super fun plastic. Evan Gauss, uh, plastic signature, uh, 
just overall a fun yo-yo. Really cool. It kind of feels like the edge a little bit, but uh, a little a little bit different. Uh, this this yo-yo is actually a lot bigger. It's it's actually quite bulky, which is weird considering it's Evan Nagala's yo-yo factory yo-yo. But um, oh well, I will take it. Next up, we have the flight. Um, I'm I'm okay at off string. It's it's probably my second style besides 1A. Uh, I'm not amazingly good at off string, but I I can do some stuff. This thing is beat to absolute death. Just look at that. Just dings and dirt. I remember like the first throw that I ever had with this yo-yo. I threw it and it flew over onto my neighbor's driveway and I was super mad and I'm I'm honestly lucky that I didn't break a window. That would that would not have been good. That that was probably a million lawsuits waiting to happen, but um yeah, that's fine. Uh next up I have three of these Duncan Ignites and this is whoa, there goes the shutter. Oh, dang it. Oh well. <laughs> Well, you see how that landed? It, like, landed in the synthesis. That is super weird. Okay, anyways, though. Hopefully that doesn't fall again. I have these three ignites. Uh, geez, these things are almost falling too. Um, I got these at Worlds. I'm probably not, never gonna get rid of these. These are just kind of a collectible for me. Uh, basically, when we did the whole world record thing, uh, they gave us these yo-yos for free to use. It was pretty cool. It was pretty fun. So, yeah, I really... They're, they're okay, I guess. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, on to the next yo-yo. Uh, next up we have the first base, the Kieran Cooper first base. And, uh, they don't actually make the Kieran Cooper edition anymore because he left the team. He's on SF now, and he has the cadence as a signature, but, um, yeah, first base, uh, another really good plastic. I got this for Christmas a couple years ago. And, uh, yeah, I really like it. Pretty fun yo-yo. Um, so, yeah. Next up, uh, I actually did a video with this yo-yo. This was, like, my beginner yo-yo. I got this at, like, Mark's, which is a convenience store in America. I'm not sure if there's another one by where you live, but, um, I remember I, I was at my friend's birthday party, and I was playing with the strings that came out of the box, which were obviously cotton, because the string, like, snapped in... It, it, like, flew onto their driveway. This thing is beat to death. Like, just look at that. Yeah, this thing's beat to absolute death, but... Oh, well, it, it, it's a souvenir. It has memories to go along with it. So, yeah. And then, um... Next up, we have Replay Pros. Uh, I'm probably never gonna get rid of this one. This is my first really good yo-yo. Like, my first... This is my first unresponsive yo-yo. Dang it. Oh my goodness, I am not going to get through this, but, okay, uh, anyways, this is Gentry Science Plastic Yo-Yo, a lot of people have this, a lot of people love it, I love it, super fun, super cool, and uh, yeah, this is my first Yo-Yo, this was a winter edition uh, that I got uh, as well, so yeah, this was super cool too, and last Yo-Yo is... But not least, it's actually kind of responsive, but oh well. It's my Duncan Origami. I use this for counterweight. I'm not very good at counterweight, but um, for what I can do, it works. Uh, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the entire collection. So I have in, like an overwhelming amount of yo-yos. Nobody really needs this amount of yo-yos, but I just love yo-yos so much that I have to collect them. So uh, yeah, um... Any comments, questions, criticisms, uh, leave in the comment section below, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, so stay tuned.